this example, we're asked how much money should be invested in an account that earns 3.2% interest in order to have $35 earned in simple interest after one year. So we're again working with our formula I equals PRT. And so let's understand, first of all, what are they asking us to find here? It says how much money should be invested. Remember, the amount invested is our principal. So P is our unknown that we're trying to find. $35 is how much earned in simple interest. That's I, so I put 35 there. Remember, R is our interest rate, but written as uh, a decimal. So put in decimal form. And then T is in years, and we've invested this amount for one year. All right, so of course, one times 0 0.032 is just 0 0.032. I'm gonna put the 0 0.032 first, the P second, just because it's convention to put the coefficient first. And I'll go ahead and divide both sides by 0 0.032. All right, so we need to divide those numbers. But of course, we're gonna have to move the decimal in our divisor, and we'll have to move it three spaces. So one, two, three here, and one, two, three here. So what we really have is the division problem 35,000 divided by 32. All right, so 32 goes into 35 one time with a remainder of three. If we drop a zero down, 32 does not go into 30, so I'll put a zero. Drop down the next zero, 32 goes into 309 times. Okay, 28. And we get a remainder of 12 from that, dropping down the zero. And 32 goes into 120. Let's see, that would be three times. So that's going to be 6 and 9, 96. And so that's going to give me a remainder of 24. So I'll add a decimal point and a zero, drop it down. 32 goes into 240. Um, that's probably going to happen seven times. So seven times two is 14. Seven times three plus one is 22 giving me a remainder of 16. One more zero we'll add, and it turns out that 32 goes into 160 exactly five times. So what we end up with is if we want to make $35 in simple interest after a year at 3.2% interest, we would need to invest $1,093.75 sense.